We'll see you when we get there. After nearly falling out of the plane, I now know why they say hold on to the handrails while you disembark because um, somebody disembarked in a rather rapid fashion. So I've been picked up by Pam I am. She was so keen to see me, she fell I, out of the I threw, plane. I threw myself out of the plane, yes, yeah, sure. So I just arrived in Christchurch and we're going to, oh, here's my little sign Christchurch Airport. That's in case you don't know where you are. <laughs> Well, the, um, the captain did say, introduced, introduced himself and said he would be flying us to Queenstown and there was a collective gasp from the plane and it's like, hmm. Well, there you go. There you go. Pam, play me a tune. I can't play. Can't even play chopsticks anymore, mate. <laughs> Sad. Very. Oh, it's quite nice. And what's that thing? That is our control tower. That's the control tower. Can you imagine what it was like up there? On February 22nd? No. Oh god, here we go. <laughs> we'll probably go the wrong way around. Oh my god, we're walking home. Why don't we try another machine? Well, we could do that. Insert ticket. How much is it? Down the bottom, honey, bottom yeah, where the green Yeah, but you tap the bottom. You tap there. Oh, I don't know. School for the gifted. First stop on the way to Ashburton, Cookie Time Cookie Factory. Gonna get me some cookies. Good sport, Pam. <laughs> Bakery shop cookies. Oh, surveillance cameras. I can surveillance them surveilling us. Cookie time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at the carpet. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Time to get some cookies. Well, that was dangerous. Dinner tonight, lots of cookies. Good morning from Ashburton in a balmy two degrees, and Pam I am is in her blimmin' flip flops. 
as you do when you live down south apparently. Um, today is inspection day at the house. We are going to be there at about 10.30. We are now going to Mitre 10 to get fireplace tools. We are in here to look for fireplace tools. Oh, what? Heat oh yes, heat transfer system. That's what we're getting. Well, that's what we have actually got. Oh, there we go, fire shovel and brush sets. You've got that, or you you can have a look for a fire we will get, sheet. You will get a whole set with like a, 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 a pokey thing. <laughs> Ash can. Oh, that's very fancy. That's just for That's cool. Yeah. That's a wood stacker. That would be handy. Yeah, I'm not that... <laughs> <laughs> not that generous. I'm not that nice a landlord. Now you do not see that sold. Coal. Yes. Oh, right, so in we go. House inspection completed and it was actually quite a pleasant surprise, wasn't it? I think we've made... Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the house was nice and clean and tidy. And yep, yep, I think we've made good decisions with the tenants. Um, there was just a little couple of scrapes on the liner where they've moved the fridge in, which um, we've told the tenants that they need to get fixed. Um, but apart from that, everything's looking really good. Um, really, really pleased with the decision we've made. And now we're just having a bit of a nosy. Um, this is the Ashburton Bridge that we're going to go across um, that was shut down from the flooding and apparently it sunk a little bit. Um, so, yeah, just to be nosy tourists and we're gonna drive across and have a look. That's the rail piers where it's slumped. Oh this is the slumpy part. Whoa. That's bad. Yep, feel the dip. Feel the burn. Mm, can't really can't really see much out the window. There's a bit of debris lying around. Speed limit on here too now. That's why it takes longer to cross the Southern Park Bridge. <laughs> and that was it. Well, now we've got to go back. We have just arrived at our Christchurch accommodation. Um, we're staying at the Classic Villa. And it is very nice. Very flash pink hotel. And we are opposite the art centre which is currently closed since the earthquakes and right in the middle of downtown so we're going to take our stuff up to our room and then go for a walk have the baggage the baggage pack horse, <laughs> pack horse. and off we trot so classic villa boutique hotel Pad on the door for security. Chelsea boot and chocolate in a size 40. And we are upstairs in room 11. <laughs> and our very Nice motel room for one whole night. <laughs> so we have Pam struggling in with all the baggage and our nice two beds. I've chosen mine by the window. They'll view out to the barbecue area. Apparently I think there's an outdoor heater out there that you can use at night. Our couch for lounging purposes. Our desk. Oh, we'll have to send all our emails from the desk. 
like important people. And very nice tiled bathroom. And thankfully a heat pump because it's actually a little bit chilly in here at the moment. So we're just going to, well Pam has very nicely <laughs> dragged all our stuff into our room for us. Because I'm a good girl. Because you are a good girl. You're a very good friend. Oh, you're a very good Pam friend. <laughs> and then we're going to go, hopefully, find a couple of flamingo scooters. And, which Pam loves oh so much. Oh, they're not bad. Oh, they're not bad, she says, after last time. So we'll find some flamingo scooters and go for a black round town. This afternoon we're going to Riverside Markets, it's probably my favourite hangout in Christchurch and we have got ourselves a couple of flamingo scooters which I also love, they're really fun to ride, just electric scooters that you hire. So we're going to go for a ride over to Cashel Mall over in that direction which is where the Riverside Markets are. I'm going to try, I haven't got my clip to put the GoPro on the scooter. So I'm going to try and hang on to you guys and hope for the best. It's going to end up like my walking footage. Enjoy the ride, hopefully, if I don't drop you. on these things. Oh, where's your sense of adventure? So we're about to go over the Bridge of Remembrance on a scooter with a GoPro. Oh god, uphill. Ooh. comes Pam and we're going to park because there is Riverside Markets just there. Saturday night at the Classic Villa in Christchurch CBD. Um, we're just here for the one night. I'm flying home to Auckland tomorrow but just to show you around a little bit inside. This is the communal dining area. We don't have cooking facilities or anything in our rooms. But this is the most amazing communal area that I have ever stayed at. Not that I've actually stayed sort of communal in a hotel. Um, we've normally sort of done campsites and that, but even for a hotel, this is pretty nice. Um, through here is the dining area, which breakfast is in the morning from 7.30 till 9.30. And it is absolutely beautifully set up with all the dinnerware, serviettes and so forth. So that will be interesting to see what's on the menu for tomorrow. Gorgeous kitchen. Really well equipped. We've just had, um, we cooked ourselves TV dinners tonight in the microwave. Um, we basically just rinsed off the dishes and put them in the dishwasher as asked. But absolute gorgeous kitchen, gas cooker and hob, bench top oven, microwave that we've just used, fridge with ice cold water, and reception desk here, and then we have a little communal lounge with fireplace. So our room is through here upstairs, which we saw before. And there's also a, another wing down here. 
which I'm not quite sure what rooms are in here, whether they're bigger suites. Um, Pam and I just have a studio room with two queen size beds. I have no idea what's actually down here. They do seem to be a bit bigger because the doors are spaced a lot further apart, which would suggest large rooms. Umbrellas here if you go out in the rain. Absolutely gorgeous stained glass. Absolutely everything about here is just amazing. I don't know if we can actually get out here. Oh, we can. What do we got out? Oh, and that's out to the big wide world. It's actually out to the front, but this door is actually bolted and locked at night. So we come in through the reception, which is out the back, to a key code. So it says that make sure the door is completely locked, closed and locked after your exit. So that is secure. So we've finished dinner, we're just going to go up to our room now and have some munchies and possibly watch a video for the night. Breakfast is served between 7.30 and 9.30 in the morning. We have a whole range of cereals, plums and light cheese that you could have on top of your cereal if you want or I suppose separately as well. We also had homemade bread for toast which had grains, seeds and nuts in it. It was really, really nice. We had a server who made tea, coffee and Milo. We could also have croissants if we wanted. There was a huge range of spreads, everything from jam, honey, marmalade, anything you could imagine really. And we also had fresh orange juice as well. It was a really, really nice breakfast. One of the favourite places that Pam always brings me to when we come down here is the Christmas shop in Papua Nui. Um, it has got the most amazing display of Christmas paraphernalia. Um, we saw a lot of these sorts of shops in Canada and America when we were travelling over there, so it's actually quite nice to find one in New Zealand that's actually up all year round. So we'll come inside and take a look around.
bus is over and out for Christchurch take two, or well, trip number two. We're just doing the, here's Pam, <laughs> just doing the last minute dash to the airport. This is probably the closest I've been cutting it a while for a flight. Um, so they reckon if you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much room. So I've already checked in online. So hopefully I will make it in time. Otherwise, I guess stay tuned for tomorrow's adventures in Christchurch. And here we are with Pam I Am. That's a very sorry, guilty face. <laughs> because Pam went shopping at Posty Plus and thought we had plenty of time. But guess what? We didn't. So now I'm booked on a later flight and it's kind of funny. I mean, I'm not mad at Pam, even though she feels guilty. <laughs> Bad Pam. But yes, it's kind of funny, but I just hope she thinks of me when she wears her nice new pants and top because it just cost me a hundred bucks to change my flight. How can so, you not be mad about that? How can I not be mad? Yeah. Because it's kind of funny. <laughs> You are the weirdest person I know. Oh, you love me. Thank you. you. Down there, but it's I love you nice. too. Well, we've got about an hour to kill, so now I need to now I need to call the husband and tell him mm -hmm. that you maybe missed my flight. So I will be an hour later home, and my children will not get Krispy Kreme donuts I know, as I promised about because that. you made me miss my flight. I'll have to send them some. <laughs> but they were rather nice pants and jumper that you bought. I know. I know. So, this will be my posse for the next hour or so. Final warning call for customers. She hates me really, she's just pretending to be nice. <laughs> oh, that is just cruel. Please watch your service. That is my Blue missed flight announcement. 70. Are you serious? That is my missed flight announcement. The she flight said it was that closed. It is, it's the boarding call, you <sighs> Wally. That's the flight you made me miss. Do you feel bad? I feel bloody awful, actually. You're welcome, good. <laughs> Ginger Ninja. Or maybe get to the middle part here and send him a text. And here comes my Ginger Ninja. Well that was an abrupt finish, so I'll say ta-ta for now and see you next time. Bye.